Good day to all, my name is Mark and I'm here with our video on regens, or more like regen scouting. And this is pretty much another season review video. All right, so we all know if you're new to um, Football Manager, regens are pretty much players that aren't real. As you can see, you know, they have computer generated faces like these guys that are on my team, very notable players. And when you're pretty much going through the, the gears of everything and eventually you'll need new players. Like guys will get old. It's only natural that you find players that are brand new, fresh, young. You know, you need, you need new workers essentially to replace the old aging ones that are falling off and you know, they eventually have to move on. So number one, you send out your scouts. Let's go to my staff page and we can see that on our scouting, I have 22 scouts from Dortmund. They're very generous with, with the size. Eventually, when you become very successful in the game like I have, the club will eventually let you have your managers and whatnot. Or, I mean, scouts. They'll let you, as the manager, have more power in determining stuff. But overall, they, you know, your bosses are your bosses, and they'll always have the last say. Anyway, I have like 22 scouts. Two of them aren't really scouts. One is, but... The director of football, I've never really used him much. He's old. Um, I'm pretty much more of a dictator of sorts because I have no, I, I don't want to use a director of football. So director of football does a lot of the mundane work, tr transfers to some level, but I always make sure I have the final say. They do contract renewal. I do that personally because I want to save as much as possible, save money. Anyway, let's get back to the important thing, which is regen scouting. So I have a lot of scouts, as you can see, but my best scouts so far that I've found, like this guy recently, Mark Cabale, and he is one of the best I've found so far, which is really cool. And football manager is frozen right now, oh, okay. He has very poor adaptability, which I don't really care too much about. I mean, it, it's important, but... At the end of the day, I want the judging ability and potential. I think adaptability and determination has more deals with if you want to assign someone to a certain country and you want them to scout the entire country. Usually people with poor adaptability and determination do poorly in that. But what I need are people who will just be able to just get me scout reports. I'm not too into the building sc scouting knowledge, which is important. Don't get me wrong, but I have other guys for that, such as... Uh, Kenji Fakuda and he is much better in that department he's 50 though so he only got he only has a, a decade left 20 uh, judging ability and potential adaptability 13 determination 16 very good he's probably the best scout that I've ever found I can't believe I missed him for four years but nonetheless you got to find new it's just like finding new players you got to find new scouts Roberta Mer Roberto Merta Marta He's also an amazing scout, 57, so he doesn't have many years left, less than a decade. 19, adaptability, 20, judging ability and potential, which is amazing. I always want the best of the best, obviously. And another guy, David Frio, 55, also less than a decade left. 19 on adaptability, judging ability, and potential. You want guys like these to build up your core, because those guys I usually send out on specific uh, scouting operations on specific players. But in general, you just, just load in as many people as you want. Particularly, diversity matters because you want as many native um, understanding or knowledge within each, each scout. So this scout's from Poland, so naturally he would have a lot of experience in Poland. He's played in Poland, so naturally he has all the knowledge in specific countries that that's very important as you can see in my scouting usually it's around 30 something percent but i sent them out this year to scout the world attain more knowledge and that's usually 45 i've i've tried to get 50 once but i don't think i've ever gone there it's, it's way too difficult um i mean if you have more scouts i guess it's possible but i only got 21 that i can really send out as you can see i have I have far superior knowledge in Central Europe. After all, Borussia Dortmund is from Central Europe. There's East Asia. I specialize in East Asia, I think, for the most part, as well as um, Eastern Europe. Not really. I don't really care too much about Eastern Europe, but uh, they definitely have some good regions you should never forget. Um, I particularly specialize in 
obviously since I'm from the United States, I'm the United States. We have so many countries to go through here, Austria, Gabon, Ecuador, Brazil, Argentina, People's Republic of China, Italy, Serbia, Japan, Ukraine, Turkey, Jamaica, Spain, Scotland, Bosnia, Herzegovina, Romania, Portugal, Czech Republic, Denmark, England, Portugal, or not, Poland, Finland, France, Germany, obviously, Germany, Netherlands, and then I have a whole bunch of other ones, a whole host of other ones I've set my scouts out for. They're pretty poor for most of them. I mean, I try to get, I try to find the more out of the blue countries to scout from because you never know. Like Hong Kong, I just know because I worked for the national team for a bit and they, they have no one there. It's just give you a heads up. The chances are of you ever finding someone who's remotely good enough to even be a first teamer, it's probably not possible. In any team, I'd say. I don't think they could even I don't think you could even field a guy for the MLS from Hong Kong, to be honest. Especially regens. And okay. Alright, so the first first point is that. Second point is the first season of regens matter. And if you don't trust me, I'll show you a lot I'll show you some some uh, some heroes of mine. Cosmin Odo Ian. Odo Ian. I don't know how to pronounce his name. He's Romanian. Um, I don't know if he came out in 2015, 2016. Okay, so he came out the season. Actually, yeah, he did. He was the first because this is 2015-16 um, season that FM16 starts, and 16-17 is the first season. And look at this guy. I've never, I've never. Um, I saw him in 2020. So it was four seasons, almost four seasons in. One, two, three. Yeah, so four seasons in. I don't even know. You know, I just found, saw a guy. Oh, wow. Um, I believe I was scouting the national team, maybe. I don't think he was. No, I just I just ran I just ran into him, I guess, just scouting random places. And, you know, Romania is not random. I, don't, I didn't even load in their country, the leagues per se. I'm pretty sure I didn't. I think I probably loaded in the national team and that sort, but I never loaded in their league. And I called him for a trial, you know, he did well, and then I signed him up for free, and he performed well. And I'm not going to lie, he was a solid player. I, lo I love developing young players into, uh, who knows, you know, I, I when I picked up this dude, I had no clue, you know, was he going to become the greatest player that I've ever seen? You know, no one knows. But I eventually developed him well enough to where he was, I had to let him go. He wasn't a specialist uh, per se. He, he, I mean, he eventually specialized into a uh, right back, which I also played him as right back. I played him as uh, center midfield, uh, defensive midfield as well, just because I'd, I had to uh, fill in some guys because I just couldn't find any people in the beginning. And yeah, Romanian fellow, 64 caps for his nation. Great, great physical stats, great mental stats. His, his technical stats, in my opinion, lets him down from becoming, you know, top tier player. Maybe not world class, but you know, right below that. He could like it's because he started, I think, in the midfield before I transitioned him to to uh, to right back because his stats were very good for right back. His defensive, he's strong and fast, good mentals. But in the end, he's just not that. He's not good enough to be a specialist there. His crossing's nine. It's pretty much failure right right there. But, you know, he's done well in Manchester City. He's a starter. He's been a starter for, what, six years there? Five years. Five years there. And, yeah, he, he gets decent, you know, average ratings. And that's what you want from a player. Um, there are also other players that play in the English Premier League, like I'd show you. I think Chelsea got a couple of those um, guys that you wouldn't expect. Guy Kubik. Kubik. Okay. So, never mind. I think the 15-16... Regens were the first, technically, but that's when the game started, so it's kind of iffy. But you could say Odo Ian was second, technically speaking. And this guy is one of the first that I saw. I I think I saw him when Chelsea picked him up. I didn't know I didn't know the Czech Republic had such great regens. Please note that Football Manager 2016 has definitely improved their regens, so I'm pretty sure if this carries over to the game that's being played now, the regens must be pretty good, I'd imagine. The first season seems to have the biggest impact of all the seasons, in my opinion. It's just because you need the fresh players so quickly, especially if you're rebuilding a team or if your team is full of traders that leave you. That happens a lot. They picked him up for, what, 96k? He's been a regular starter for four, five, six, ten seasons, I think, almost. 
and he is he is amazing mentally, physically very strong, but he's pretty poor. Not poor, but he's he's a solid technically speaking. You know, he's a commanding center back, as they say. Shoots with power. That's pretty cool. Pretty re average regular moves. Career stats, 298 games for Chelsea. He's about to reach the 300. Um, well, there's another guy. I think they picked up. Or was it just him? I forgot. I think that's just him. Oh, maybe this guy. Petter, Peter, or Petter, Petter Sindelar. Oh, wow, yeah. He also came out from the same regen year as Kubik, right? Was his name Kubik? Yeah, Kubik. And Sindelar... He's a world-class striker. Look at those physical stats. Monster physical stats. Just jumping reaches crap. Mentally, great. He's technically the best striker you could find, I imagine. But he just doesn't perform as well for some reason. Is it because of his mental stats? No. I think it's just because Chelsea uses him poorly. If I, if I had this guy, he'd be smashing in, what, 20 goals every season. But yeah, Chelsea found him for $2.9 Then they let him loose to Bayern. And then Chelsea picked him up again for an extra 30 mil on top of what they got from Bayern. And he's been an amazing striker. I could probably do better, but not going to complain. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much important. The main points is to get the best scouts you can possibly get. First season, go crazy. Go go all out. Scout every every country, anything you can find. And if you don't know how to do that, you just go to the World tab. Go to World tab again. Go to Transfers and then go to youth intake and you can just roll back the months and you'll have all the regens that the game produces all you have to do is just select them shift key is very easy now i didn't know about this before i wasted hours but yeah you can just hit shift yeah you click this hit shift on the next one this selects them all um last year's game you could just uh, click it and then hold and then move down but for some reason they killed that off this year so yeah that's very generous of them eh <laughs> uh, being sarcastic but overall that's what the important points are just look around look anywhere look everywhere and yeah have fun this is probably one of the big key mechanics of playing this game maybe not mechanic but the key point of playing this game is scouring the globe get your scouts on top of the work and then up to you it's it's you who makes a decision there's manager and the best managers you know they make the best choices in the end to call in type of guys that they want and yeah thanks for watching if you give if you liked the video or you thought this was informative give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel if you are new three links below facebook instagram and twitter check that out you will always get updates thanks for watching everyone this is world town fc united to triumph